will uh, cover today last uh, the the parameters part resource model with parameters and i'll tell you what is the purpose of parameters in case of resource model and why we need mostly okay so before we move so let me give you one example of uh, a real time example where we where we can use this concept or this uh, uh, this feature so you might have seen couple of uh, fury apps right if, if you have not seen so let's consider like a purchase order application a purchase order application or any application which is creating any document or anything so whenever you create okay when you create any purchase order or any document for the first time a number will be generated you might have seen that right if you are creating a new purchase order, a number will be generated like a PO number or document number. And that document number or PO number we basically receive from the back end. OK, we basically receive at the time of post call or uh, in the response. Once we receive that response as a number, any number, so we have to display that number in a screen. In a pop up message, we basically show that uh, number the response number in in between the text in between the static text like the so and so purchase number is generated successfully so how to place that dynamic po number in between the static text that we have to learn today and that can be handled easily with the help of this parameter concept in resource model now you got it what is our requirement the requirement is the requirement is very simple like okay so requirement is uh, very simple yo and this will be OK, this will be the number. Yeah, the PO number. OK, so this is the message. So. OK. So this is the message which I want to display in message box. Requirement is requirement is to display this uh, success message in the pop up. Now when you look at this message, we already know this number. This number is not static, right? So this number is not static. It is coming from the it's coming from the auditor response. It's coming from the auditor response. Now tell me how to handle this in our application. Like what we do so far, like we have added all the text in, in the uh, resource model or resource bundle as of now. So if I want to store that text piece of message in the resource bundle file, so how I can make sure that this number, so this PO number we can pass dynamically. Any idea about this like how we can do so see so through controller we can easily do we know that through controller I can easily I can easily create this uh, text and in between I can pass this number and I can do the concatenation and and according to the that I can easily create this message but I don't want to use JavaScript uh, I don't want to use a JavaScript logic to do that I want to achieve it through the resource bundle and resource model. How I can do that? Any idea about this? How to achieve this? If no, just tell me like I, I will proceed with. I'll tell you like how we can achieve this. One is that uh, we just uh, uh, a PO number uh, we have to uh, uh, mention in the I I eighteen okay and generate successfully also mention and we concurrent mm -hmm. it like one thing is the whatever mm -hmm. it is not going to yeah 
and so yes, uh, uh, this this will be the solution, right? Because like uh, we'll, we will add all this, but we will not add this number, right? Because this number uh, it can be anything. Yeah. Today is like yeah, nine yeah. zero seven seven two three. Maybe tomorrow it might be something, and then it's not it's not about a single user. At the same time, like hundred users can work on one application, so that can be the reason. And and every user for every user this number would be different, because one person can generate as many as purchase orders if he wants. So in that case, so this number would be this number would not remain same in that case. Okay. So to handle such situation, what SAP UIFI has provided, the framework has provided. So there is a concept called parameters. OK, we can pass that parameters dynamically and automatically like once we add a parameter. So in the place of parameter, this value will be added dynamically and it will be picked on runtime, whatever the loss. So to add this message, in uh, in in our resource bundle file so let's go back here and i'm just going to add one one message okay so this is my key and here i will pass the 7723 generated successfully but here i want to make sure that this 907723 it should be passed dynamically so what i will add here i will be simply add this uh, curly bracket Opening and closing curly brackets I will add and in between I can simply pass index number. OK, so this in in resource bundle index number will always start from zero. So we didn't pass any value. I'll, I'll show you why we have added zero. So let's say if I have one more value, then I can pass index number for that as one. OK, likewise you can add like as many as parameters you want to do. So but basically that index number should start from zero. OK, zero, one, yeah, two, three, one four, means, like that. Likewise. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry, one, sorry. Mean one, one you written here in the last one. Zero means, is a parameter. Yes, zero is also parameter. One is also parameter means I'm just telling you like we can add as many as parameter if you want. OK, 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 okay. okay. so. I'll show you like once we pass one more value, I'll I'll show you once we pass the uh, the parameter or the index number as a one, what will happen in that case. So as of now, I have just passed zero in this case in in this message. So let's go back in the controller now. Now let's say I want to display a message. OK, I want to display a message on click of any button. So we basically open the pop up. So this handle save data is already there. But we'll add one more button. OK, so this is just to show how that dynamic data can be passed. OK, so first I'll take one variable in that I have your number. OK. I have one variable, so here I'll pass the static number. You So as of now, I don't have any OData service which is returning this number. So I will pass this number which is a static, but on runtime you can you can assign any value to this PO number which is uh, which you are getting from the back end and that PO number you can pass it within the message. So it can be anything it can change. OK, don't think that I'm just passing static how we can make it as a dynamic. It's already dynamic because you already know variable can hold any value on runtime. So now we have message box. Message box is not there on the top. I'll quickly add that. So 
message box dot success. Now, before we add, so first of all, we need a resource model. And how to get that resource model through the syntax, right? So you simply copy the syntax, paste it here. Now what we need, we need that message, right? We need success message. Now in the success message, we need that text, right? Over resource model dot get resource bundle dot get text. Now inside the get text, key name should be different. That key name should be message. Okay, and now after that, just give comma and then we have to use square brackets. So now the values that we will pass, it will be in array format. Okay, that's why we are using index number. So whatever value if I pass in the first position, so of, uh, for sure that that value will be stored in the zeroth index number, right? In a place of zero index number. And likewise, if I pass one more value, that will be stored in the first index number. So, so on zero index number, we have that value. So we have whatever value we pass in the zero, so that value automatically that will sit in this zero index number in, in this parameter. OK, so now I will pass this variable as PO num. That's it. So let's. Let it reload. So. And now this S will pass it here in the success because at the end we'll we'll get that string which is a combination of this message with that PO number. OK, so once I click on open, now can you see this number? See how I'm getting this number in between this text because of parameters, right? We just need to pass the second parameter here within the get text method. First is the key name, second is the uh, second structure would be in array and then and you can define multiple values in between that. Just provide a comma whenever you add one more value. So make sure to add a comma before that and then you add one more value. Is it clear now the dynamic model concept or dynamic parameter concept? It's very straightforward. We just yes. need to add this parameters. Square uh, curly brackets within that zero index number. Likewise, now let's say if I want to pass one more value. OK, so I'll make it as one year and now let's go back to the controller. Then let's say. Uh, I will add one more message or anything plant maybe. the plant. So I'll basically give comma and I'll give comma here and I can I can pass as plant. And now here we already pass this. OK. So now this is there. Now let's see how it passes. How it displays the value. See now. See. This is how you can pass the values dynamically on runtime. OK, I hope this uh, small uh, the dynamic part is done. Any questions here? Is it clear guys how to pass now? Yeah. So, so, so this so only uh, mm -hmm. similarly yes. can also pop up the same uh, error messages. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. This is how we, we have to def like you can pop up the error messages as well. Like this is mainly used in case of uh, the success one, like the dynamic parameter. So the you're talking about the error message like from auditor service if I'm getting any error. So we'll see that like uh, once we implement the auditor service. So after that in, in, a, uh, in a front end, we'll see like how to display the error message. If, if while reading the service, if something is wrong, 
if we are not passing the proper parameters. So in that case, the error that we receive from the backend in a form of response. So how that response we can display it as a error message in the success pop up that we can show not in success in error pop up. OK, but yes, uh, the the way that you are telling like the error and all yes, that also you can display you using this. Like if you have a fixed format for the error messages, if it is user defined uh, error messages, then in that case you can uh, you can go go ahead and you can use this uh, feature. Sure, sure. Yeah. OK, so this is all about the resource model and uh, this is how we basically format uh, this values. So there is one more way in, in in case of XML, like in XML also you can pass those values, but I'm not going to explain that. So that will be your assignment. OK, so just explore like if in XML, if I have one uh, a label and within a label, I want to display this message. OK, so create one label control in XML and within that I want to display that message. And, and and let's see how you can pass this values in, in from the front end, basically from the XML code. OK, so that will be your assignment. So I have shown you from the controller. Now you need to try it from the XML side. And let me know like from XML how how you will do that. OK. So that will be your assignment. So just note it down. So that will be easy that that is not a complex just hardly one line of code will be there within that. So once you add that code automatically your. Uh, um, your text would be formatted properly. So at the end just remember like uh, this is just like a formatting only OK like you you are passing the values and it is getting formatted properly. OK, so just one minute. Yeah, so I'll close this now and we'll we'll go ahead with a new application now. OK. So now we need to start with the new concept called. New concept called. What is that? Uh, one minute, one minute. I'll quickly update this. OK, so I'll quickly take this screenshot. Front end. Yeah, 